Bellingham, Valverde, Camavinga, Chuamani. Do you remember fairly recently people were asking a rhetorical question? How do you ever replace one of the most perfect midfields to have ever existed? There is no way that the next iteration of the Real Madrid midfield will ever have the sort of panache, skill and success of Luka Modric, Casemiro and Tony Cruz. I tell you what, the way that Real Madrid conduct themselves, the way that they behave, the way that they are always solving problems, quite often solving problems, before they truly exist, is an example to us all. And they have managed to snare Jude Bellingham. This is huge. This is massive. This is absolutely... It's dynamite. Not only for Bellingham, not only for European football, not only for Real Madrid, but for the England national team. Having a player like Jude Bellingham playing at the Bernabeu is so good. It's so good for what England are hoping to achieve. And the way that Real Madrid are moving forward, it is just going to be an honour to watch them play. Bellingham linking up with Chuamani, linking up with Camavinga. This next gen, it's genuinely a masterclass in succession planning from Real Madrid. They have managed to reach an agreement with Borussia Dortmund and you know, it's a lot of money, but it's not a lot of money. When you think about what players go for these days, you're looking at about 90 million quid, 100 million euros. When you think about Jude Bellingham, when you think about the fact that he is only 19 years old, when you think about the amount of service that you could get out of him, surely we all agree that he is undoubtedly, potentially, one of the best footballers in the world for the next decade. 19. He's already started at a World Cup. He's at such a tender age. He could end up finishing his career having played in five World Cups. It's truly amazing. And he deserves so much credit. Birmingham City deserves so much credit. Dortmund deserves so much credit. It's just amazing that this 19-year-old English kid, lad from Birmingham, is now one of the highest transfers in the history of Real Madrid, in the history of Borussia Dortmund. And it's all Jude Bellingham. Um... It's going to be a huge disappointment to Man City, this. I think Manchester City had made their peace with it. And you never want to doubt Pep Guardiola, and I never would. But do you know what I think a huge reason as to why this has happened, and it's happened so swiftly and so decisively, is because of what happened to Real Madrid at the Etihad. Like, I honestly believe the first half of the Manchester City versus Real Madrid game, the second leg of the European Cup, was the most one-sided, dominant, elite performance from an English team in Europe ever against significant opposition. You're playing Real Madrid in knockout European football, the holders in knockout European football, Karim Benzema, Luka Modric, Tony Cruz in knockout European football, Carlo Ancelotti, a serial European Cup winner, and Manchester City destroyed Real Madrid. And you know what Real Madrid did? Off the back of that, off the back of what happened that night in Manchester, they decided that they needed to think they needed to plan and they needed to build up again. And Jude Bellingham is such a statement. It's such a it's such a statement. It's a forceful it's a forceful flag from Real Madrid to make sure that they are being acknowledged and not forgotten. They have not handed the baton over to Manchester City. Far from it. It's merely a blip from their perspective. They will be back next year to secure their trophy. That is certainly how they will be feeling about it because this team that they are putting together, this young, hungry, dynamic, exciting team is only lacking one thing. Karim Benzema, you know, an icon, has moved on, which means there is room for a striker. Am I getting ahead of myself here? Is Jude Bellingham going to link up with his England teammate, Harry Kane, at Real Madrid? Is it going to be an English revolution in Madrid, in the Bernabeu. Is that going to happen? I think it should. I think Kane should go there. In fact, I'm going to do a video on Harry Kane. I think he desperately needs to go there. But just think about this team. And I just love the way that Real Madrid act, the way that they are so decisive. You know, Real Madrid knew that Manchester City had a serious desire to recruit Bellingham from Dortmund. They knew that, but they acted. They acted really fast. Last year, 
everybody was sniffing around Chiuamani, weren't they? Chiuamani was doing the business at Monaco. Everybody was aware of how good he was and everybody fancied a piece of Chiuamani. Wallop. Well, it happened the previous year, actually. Capavinga was at Wren, wasn't he? The previous year. Off the back of Wren doing quite well in the Champions League, getting into the Champions League. Remember? Every year, they snap it up. And then you add Valverde into the mix. Like, Valverde's been playing sort of more forward lately, hasn't he? He's been playing sort of more as a front player in the forward line. But I think ultimately his future is a midfielder. And with Carlo Ancelotti still there, you know, there was talk about him potentially leaving, but Carlo Ancelotti still there. This new version of Real Madrid is incredibly exciting. And Jude Bellingham being at the forefront of it, I think it's it really is just so exciting. You know, Bellingham is undoubtedly a class act. He is undoubtedly a truly brilliant player. There were times last season when he was at Borussia Dortmund where he resembled a one-man band in that midfield. You know, Chelsea played Borussia Dortmund. They looked so average, and yet they could have won the league. It was largely due to Jude Bellingham's contribution. You know, he was everywhere all at once in that team. Think about the way that he plays. Like, he tackles the way that he plays the game. He tackles like he's a number six, doesn't he? He's a box-to-box player, you know, runs like he's a number eight. He has the ability to play sort of perfect assists the way that you would maybe expect a a number 10 or, or even a sort of Gianfranco Zola type player to play. And obviously, you know, he scores his fair share of goals, doesn't he? He's, what, eight goals? I think he scored for Borussia Dortmund last season. Eight goals. You know, that's, that's, that's a decent contribution. So I think that he is just phenomenal. I really do. I think his intensity, the way that he plays the game, and most crucially, he's a winner. I recently on this video, on this channel did a video about Jadon Sancho where for for want of a better word I think he's a I think he's a loser not in the not in the idiotic insulting way calling someone a loser I just mean that Jadon Sancho is not a winner he doesn't strive to be the best that he can be he isn't desperate to win every challenge every game every second every mini duel Jadon Sancho doesn't live like that Jude Bellingham most certainly does his winning attitude is so important to who he is and it will bode so well for both Real Madrid and for England. You know, he is a class act. He's got so much confidence. He is the full package and he is a potential Ballon d'Or winner now. I tell you what, if this summer continues as it's going for Real Madrid, at Wembley Stadium next year, I can honestly see them winning the European Cup. Oh, exciting. Can I ask you, please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. As always, I would love it if you would click subscribe as well. Thank you so much for watching. In a bit.